Okay folks, welcome back to Wooden Tool Company's channel. So if you've been following my videos on the floating router uh, for the lathe, then you'll know that I come up with something here. So this is kind of like a, 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 the ultimate test is what I feel folks. Uh, imagine being able to just go take a stick of hardwood out of your hardwood pile and be able to stick it in the lathe and have it turn out like this. So this is the test I'm going to do. Uh, I've got this stick in here and I've got it as centered as I can. I just took a few minutes here and just, you know, got it somewhere as close. And it does vibrate quite a bit right now, but once I get my router into it, then uh, this should smooth out and I'll be able to actually switch gears and go into a higher gear. And I'm actually going to make a copy of what I've got in my hand out of this stick. So folks, without further ado, we won't keep you waiting. I'll, uh, I'll put on my mask and my muffs and we'll start this thing up and do some routering. So you can see now that I've got this down rounded out, you know, there's still a few little spots here, but won't I just, you know, wanted to clean it up right quick and uh, get it ready to follow my copy. So I still got a lot, a lot of material there to remove. So I'm just going to get my little block here and my motors, you know, I kind of think of this thing just like a race car, folks. And, uh, you know, she's, she's patched up real bad, but I'll tell you, I can't believe how fast I can get these copies made. Uh, if you guys know what, you know, if you've seen, uh, I've got a lathe copier, or, uh, or doing any lathe work, then you'll know that was almost impossible to do. Uh, but with this, with the router doing the cutting like that, I don't have to worry about it digging in. It's just going to chew that material out of there. And I'm excited to get a three quarter inch straight cutter on this. I think that's going to even be doing a better job. So there we go. I got my motor switch positions here now, so I'm running in a higher gear. And uh, I'll just start her up and we'll finish this cut. Oh, here. I might not have it in the right position here, folks. Yeah, I've got to move that motor a little bit more. My videos are unscripted, folks, and hopefully, hopefully you'll appreciate that. So now, I'm just going to line that up a little wee bit better. Yeah, more about there. 
stick these seat clamps back on here. And we'll start this thing up again. Now it's moving a little quicker. close to the same so that other stick of hardwood was a little wee bit longer but as you can see now they match up pretty good I think other than this stick was a little bit longer and I just moved my tail stock out a little bit so a little bit of sand and even though these were just firewood sticks uh, a little bit of sand and now I don't know what would happen now geez that bearings warm <laughs> so there you go folks keep tuning into wooden tool company's channel um, you know, soon I'm going to upload the sizes to make this thing, and uh, and then you could build your own. So thanks for watching my video.